shall be done. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you ask it, in my name I'll do it was nigh unto the sea, and it said, And behold, there cometh one of the ruler of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And it said, And when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And I want you tonight to just close your eyes for a minute, and as we read on through this, and put yourself in Jairus' place. It said, And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she she may be healed and she shall live and here he was and he was trying to get Jesus to come could you imagine how we would feel tonight if you and I if one of our sons or our daughter was at the point of death and we're trying to get this man named Jesus for he heard about Jesus sister Carla and he knew that Jesus could heal and he knew that he could open up the blinded eyes amen and he went to him and he told him he said my little daughter here she is and she's lying at the point of death and it said and Jesus went with him and it said and much people followed him and thronged him and here come along the woman with the issue of blood and it said in a certain woman with an issue or which had an issue of blood for 12 years Put yourself in her place tonight. Here there was two things going on almost at the same time, Sister Gully. Oh, we can preach about the woman with an issue of blood. And we preach about how that she went and she touched the hem of his garment, Sister Kathy, and how she was made whole. But you never hear the one preach about Jarius. You never hear them say how that he went to Jesus. Amen. And it says, it goes on to say, and had suffered many things. Here this woman suffered many things. And, and, and she seeked after, and it said, many of them, many things of many physicians. And had spent all that she had. Said, and had nothing better, but rather grew worse. How many knows tonight that that's about how it is today? Amen. We go from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. And it seemed like every time you go, the bad report that you keep hearing, Sister Kathy, they'll tell you this is wrong with you so they can send you on to another doctor. Oh, I'm preaching you the truth tonight. How many knows that that's the truth? And Sister Carla, and they'll say, you'll go for a headache, and they'll send you for a CAT scan, or they'll send you to another doctor, or they'll send you to another doctor, Brother Mike. And if you ask me, sometimes it's money, 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 money. Oh, hallelujah. But how many knows that she went, and she spent all that she had, but all that it took was one touch. I said, just one touch, one touch. He almost sat tired. Oh, I feel like preaching tonight. I said all it took woo, hey, 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 was one touch of the master's hand and she was made whole. I said she woo, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place tonight. Oh, but she was made whole. Lord, have mercy. I feel a difference tonight. But all of us are tired. And I'm not trying to preach to you tonight about the woman. But how many knows, Sister Gully, we get so caught up in that way that we want to run to the doctors. We want to run to this one. And we want to run to that one to make things better. But how many knows there's only one? I said there's only one that can make it better. Oh, I feel like preaching tonight. There's only one that can turn things around. Only one. Yes, God. His name is Jesus. Oh, what's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Woo! Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise you, Jesus. So here she was. 
And she went to all these positions. And, and as a matter of fact, she didn't get no better, but she got worse. And I tell you, that's how it is. They'll make you think you're dying when you ain't. And it said on down to verse 27. It said, and when she had heard Jesus, oh, hallelujah, said that came in the press behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Oh, but let's not forget about Jairus. Here Jairus was. And I'm sure Jairus was waiting, thinking, oh, my goodness, my daughter is at the point of death. And here come this woman. And she touched him. And God healed her. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come here, I'm going to use you tonight. Oh, Jairus was probably like, come on, Jesus. We just come on. I need you. My daughter's laying at the point of death. Can I tell you tonight that God will be there right on time? I said God will be there right on time. And I'm sure Jarius was probably getting impatient about this time. Oh, all y'all with me tonight? Brother Wendell, I'm sure he was probably thinking, okay, come on, Jesus. My daughter's at the point of death. I need you. This woman just had an issue of blood, and God healed her. Two things going on at one time. Can I tell you tonight that God can reach down and touch you, and he can reach down and touch me? That there is not a mosatai. There is not nothing that God cannot do tonight. God can move in Dayton, Ohio, just as good as he can in Kentucky. I'm telling you tonight that we serve an on-time God. We serve a mighty God tonight, Brother Wendell, that can move everywhere at one time. Amen. All right, man. So here Jarius was, and I'm sure no doubt he was getting a little bit impatient. I think I would be. If one of my youngins was at home and they were at the point of death, and here along come this crowd. It said that she had to press through. Amen. She pressed behind him. And she touched the hem of his garment. Said verse 28. For she said. If I may touch. But his clothes. I shall be whole. I mean he knows tonight. If we could just touch him. Oh if we could just touch him tonight. Sister Missy. We know that everything will be all right. We know that everything will be all right. Amen. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, everything will be all right. Amen. Go on down with me to verse 30 or 29. We don't skip that verse. Said in straightway, said the found, fountain of her blood was dried up. Don't forget about Jairus. So here she was and her fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of this plague. Hey Amen. How many knows that when we get saved that we feel like something had took place, Brother Mike. Something had took place. Hey Amen. And if you ever feel like nothing took place, pray on. Pray till, till you feel different because there should be a change. Can I get an amen tonight? Amen. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that the virtue had gone out of him, he turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And the disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, said, And sayest thou who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. He said, but the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and, be and told him all the truth. How many night knows that God wants us to come before him and tell him all the truth? Amen. God wants us to just pour ourselves out to him. Because you know what? God knows the number of hair that's on our very head. Amen. And sometimes, Sister Gully, we think we can hide things from people. People, but we can't hide nothing from God. Can I get an amen tonight? The Bible said that what's covered will be uncovered. Things will be revealed out. So if I had a bad thought about somebody, I might as well tell Jesus all about it and say, God, can you help me with it? Can you forgive me of it? Because he already knows about it, Sister Gully. 
And you say, well, well, you're a big sinner if you're having bad thoughts. No, you ain't. When you act upon that thought is when it becomes wrong. Can I get an amen tonight? But here she was. She told, she told him all the truth. And he said unto her, don't forget about Jarius tonight. He's still waiting. He's still waiting, Sister Golly. His daughter is still at the point of death. And he's still waiting, Carla, while all this is going on. He's still waiting. I mean, knows tonight that sometimes God will touch somebody and you're the one that really needs touch. And you're thinking, God, I'm going through all these things. And you reach out and you'll bless Sister Sandra. And why can't I get blessed, God? I feel like everything coming at me from one side to the other. I feel like I'm not getting nowhere. What's wrong with me, God? Why can't you touch me, Lord? Oh, Jarius was still waiting, Sister Gully. His daughter was still in that situation. Can I tell you tonight that sometimes we can look around and we see God moving for others, Sister Carla. And our situation still seems like it's the same that God just ain't doing anything for us and we don't understand but God is an on time God yes he is oh hallelujah Oh, sometimes we are ready to just throw in the towel sometimes if I could just like the boxers when they had all they could take sister Sander they throw in the towel they're done with it the fight's over and how many knows that sometimes we're we're like this and we're almost like this sister Carla we're almost ready to give up oh but can I tell you tonight to hold on just a little longer don't give up tonight because your answer's on the way I'm telling you God is an on time God amen go with me real fast said and he looked around around about to see her Going down to verse 34, and it said unto her daughter, he said, thy faith had made thee whole. He said, go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. How many knows that in order to get something from the Lord, we need to believe, and we need to receive it. Amen. 35. It says, while yet he spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house a certain which said, thy daughter is dead. He said, Why well, troublest thou the master any further? And as soon as Jesus heard this word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Only believe. So now the situation, Kathy, went from being a little good to worse. How I many knows that that's how we are tonight? Sister Carla, it seemed like we go through one thing, and that seems so bad to us sometimes, but it went from that to getting worse. Amen. Amen. Here was Jarius. He went from going to Jesus and telling him that my daughter lieth at the point of death. Would you come? Would you come and touch her? I put myself in his place tonight, and, and you're just saying, please come. Would you just come on? Just don't worry about that. Just please come. I know that this woman needs healed, but come. My daughter's dying. Would you just come? Could you imagine what he felt like tonight? So the whole time while Jesus was talking to the woman with the issue of blood, y'all get with me tonight. The whole time that he was talking to her sister Carla, and telling her, now Jarius' daughter's dead. And in our eyes, once somebody dies, all hope's gone. We feel like it's it. It's over. I'm sure that's probably how he felt, Brother Wendell. It's all over now. But he told him. He said, only believe. Would you only believe tonight? Sister Kathy, even though things may look bad, if we would only just not be afraid and we would just believe. I mean, it knows that God can turn things around. 37, and it is said unto him, he said, Suffer no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. Said, and he come to the house of the ruler of the synagogue. Go on down and said that he's, they said he, so he went in there and he saw them weeping and welling greatly. And he said, and when he was come in, he said it unto them, why make ye this 
though and weeping, said the damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Verse 40, and I know I'm doing a lot of reading. Just bear with me for a minute. says, and they laughed him to scorn. said, but when he had put them all out. How many knows that we've got to shut doubt out? Amen. How many knows we got the devil will come at you. He'll try to get you to doubt that you're saved. He'll try to get you to doubt that God can heal you. And here he was, Brother Mike. He was trying to get them to doubt that he could raise up that little girl. And it goes on down to say, said him, but when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him and entered into where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, he said, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. He said, and straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of 12 years old. And they were astonished with a great astonishment and had charged them straightly that no man should know it and command that something should be given her to eat. Can I tell you tonight that God is an on-time God? Amen. In their eyes, Sister Krista, it looked like it was all over, Sister Carla. It looked like it was all over. In their eyes, she was already dead. What was the point now in having Jesus come? It's all she's she's ready to just be buried, Brother Wendell. She done went to sleep. They used sleep a lot in the word which they died. But how many knows? He said, if you would only believe, how many knows tonight that God just wants us to believe, Missy, that there is nothing impossible for him. I believe that tonight. Do you believe that tonight? Amen. Here God was, Sister Carla, and he moved on two things at the same time. The woman with the issue of blood got healed, Brother Mike. And not only did she get healed, Brother Wendell, but then long come Jairus. And I'm going to tell you that his daughter was at the point of death. And then she died. And then it looked like it was all over. But God showed up. I said, Jesus showed up oh hallelujah I said he showed up right on time amen God will make a way where there seemeth to be none sister Kathy God will work it out they told sister Carla that her mother's leg was going to have to be took off how long has that been a couple weeks ago I guess but her leg is still on there I'm telling you there's hope to Tonight, Lord, I feel I shall tell a I feel God in this place tonight. The devil may be trying to hinder, but I'm telling you that God is an on time God. Yes, He is. I was telling them earlier, Sister Carla, that I talked to Doug today, and Doug was telling me how that he reached down and he touched her leg, and how she said, Ow. And he said, You know, there's still feeling in that leg. I said, There's still feeling in that leg. She may be bedridden, but you know what he told that little girl? He said, Arise! He said, Arise! He said, He he said arise up I'm telling you that God wants us to rise up out of our situations, out of the things that we're going through shake yourself tonight amen I mean that was that we need to just get a hold of him and shake ourselves say God I crucify this flesh yeah, tell all the Lord, I'm walking in the spirit. I'm believing you by faith. He told him, he said, just believe. If you would only believe. Do you believe tonight that God is an on-time God? That whatever you're going through tonight, I'm telling you, if you'll trust God and you'll believe God, God will show up. He won't let you down. I've never read where he felt nobody. I've never read where he let you down. Sister Sandra, but he said, I am the present help in the times of trouble. He had none of 
Oh, he walked through the fire with the Hebrew boys. Oh, he turned around and he blessed Joe back with more than what he had. He told old Noah, he said, you go build an ark. Yes, he did. He said, because there's a flood coming. There's a rain coming. All of a he told Elijah. He spoke to Elijah. He answered Elijah by fire. I'm telling you tonight that that's the kind of God that we serve. Some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, hallelujah. I know I might be talking a little fast, Sister Corner, but I can't help what I feel tonight. That's the kind of God that we serve. A God that will move. I said he'll move mountains for you and me tonight if we would only believe. If we would only believe. I mean, he knows that sometimes we get in God's way. Amen. God bless you. Someone said that. They said, you know, it was my son. I think he sneezed or something. And he said, you don't hear people say, God bless you no more. My son, 11 years old. Notice that, Sister Carla. He said, you don't hear it anymore. I mean, knows you don't hear a whole lot of things anymore. And shame on us. Amen. It's the truth. I mean, knows if we're ashamed of him, he'll be of us. Yeah, he will. It's the truth, Sister Golly. We don't talk about the good things anymore. Oh, no, we don't. Yes, God. But here Jarius was. And, and oh, God. Here he was, Sister Missy. He ate of my soul, of my soul, and of my soul, and a little more satire. Yes, God. Oh, God, could you imagine? Could you imagine tonight one of your children uh, at the point of death and you needing Jesus? And, and Jesus was trying to take care of something else. Could you imagine that tonight? How many knows that that's how you and I are tonight? That Jesus will call on us. He'll call us to pray. He'll call on him on Sunday out of my coat. He'll deal with his sister Carla. Oh, and he'll deal with us. And where are we tonight? Oh, we're trying to deal with other things. But he said, if you would just only believe. He told him, just only believe believe I know what I'm doing that baby's gonna be all right when I get there if you'll just believe I believe Jesus could have just said be you healed and rise and that child would have rose up that he wouldn't have had to go to the synagogue's house I believe that tonight but you know what he did things to show them to show the unbelief he put them out how many knows that we need to put the devil shut down on Lord, I feel like preaching. Oh, hallelujah. I wish somebody would get this with me tonight. Sister Carla, I don't know what it is about back here, but every time I come back here, I feel God. Oh, he said, if you only believe, how many knows that that's how it is today, Brother Ronnie? If we would only believe, if we would only trust God, God would do great things. If we want to see miracles, we've got to believe. Amen. Instead of trusting the doctors, why don't we trust Jesus? Hey, hey, hey. We've got to believe. How many knows we got to believe? I'm so glad we got pews. Lord Jesus. Sometimes, Kathy, I feel like I can run every one of them. Holy believe tonight. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever read that and thought about that? How Jarius had to have felt. But how God done two things at one time. Yes, he did. He took time out for the woman with the issue of blood, Missy. And then he went and he took time out for Jarius. How many knows that that's the kind of God we serve, Sister Sandra? God can move for you and bless you. Then he can turn right around and say, here, Missy, I'm going to bless you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Sometimes we, 
We look around, Sister Kristen, everybody in the whole church shout at one time. Because that's the kind of God that we serve. Amen. How many knows that God don't have no respect of a person? No, we don't. But you know what? Can I point this out to you just for a minute? I'm getting ready to close. Uh, that the woman with the issue of love, when she went to Jesus, Sister Kathy, she believed. Yes, she did. She believed. She believed as long as she could touch him, she would be healed. Can I tell you, Jairus went to him because he believed. It was two different things going on, but they both believed. Amen. And God moved in both situations. Because he's an on-time God, Sister Sandra. He moved right on time. You know what? Sometimes things have to look real bad to us. Yes, they do. And when they look real bad to us, Sister Carla, we see God move. We think, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I can trust you now. Woo! Glad that one was over. Whew. God, I done thought you forgot about me. It's the truth, Carla. We're like, oh, God, it was so bad, Sister Kathy. And oh, let me Worrying. I was fretting. I was thinking, oh, Jesus, where are you at? I mean, that was just the truth. And we're thinking, God, we're, Brother Mike, I don't know what we're going to do, brother. We might as well just throw in the towel. We might as well just give up because I don't know what else we're going to do. I just see all this stuff going on, and, and I just don't know any other way out. And we're fretting. And, and I believe the whole time Jesus is probably standing up and saying, hello. Hey, it's me. Would you only believe? It's the truth. It's the truth. And instead, Sister Sandra, we look and we think, oh, Lord, there's this bill and there's that bill. And God, and we don't have enough money. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. I amen myself on that one. And we're thinking, oh, God. Oh, God. And then it seemed like if that ain't bad enough, then here comes sickness. And everybody in the whole house sick. And, and then the finances is falling through. And, and everybody's sick in the house. And, and then you call up mom, mom's sick. And, and then before you know it, brother's baby's sick. And everybody just getting sick. And then all before you know it, then someone's passed away. And you're thinking, oh, God, I feel like throwing in the towel. And you ain't a little more satire. And you thank God if you just help me get through one thing, I'll, I'll try to get through the other. And Sister Carla, for you not, the car tours up. And you're thinking, well, what am I going to do now? And you go to work, Sister Missy, and your boss gives you a hard time. Lord, Mom wouldn't do that. Oh, yes, she would. Oh, and then Mama give you a hard time. Yeah, yeah. They're looking at me like, oh, yeah, Mom has their days. Yes, we do. And then you think, oh, Lord, and then here comes the employees. And the employees are giving you a hard time. Yes, they are. Amen. And they won't listen to you. Won't do what you ask them to do, Sister Kathy. And then your boss is giving you down the road. And on to you, and you're thinking, God, I feel like just giving up. I feel like throwing in the towel. I feel like I can't take no more. Y'all smiling, and I know Kyla's helping me tonight. But how many knows that that's how we feel? Amen. Feel like there ain't no other way out. And you, we go home, and we're down, and we're depressed, and we want to find a room to go in. I believe we feel like Elijah. You know how he wanted to go into the cave? Don't want to talk to nobody because I'm in this mess. Jairus was in a big mess. His daughter was at the point of death. Amen. But he didn't give up, Brother Mike. He didn't give up. I believe Jarius stood right there waiting. He might have got a little impatient. Probably felt like climbing up the wall. But I believe he was just standing there waiting like, oh, come on, Jesus. Don't you? He didn't leave, Sister Gully. He didn't give up. He just stood there. Then here come another report. Another bad report. She's dead now. She's dead now. It's all over with now. Where you at, Jesus? Amen. He knows that's what we do. Where are you at now? Oh, it's worse now. God ain't hearing my prayers. We all been guilty of saying that. He don't hear me. I just, I'm just going to go back and do this and do that because God ain't hearing me. Amen. Oh, help us tonight, God. 
I had none of this plan, but Jarius. I mean, that's how we feel, and then the devil will come along and he'll start talking to you. Why don't you smoke? You know you quit smoking, why don't you smoke? It'll help your nerves. It'll make you feel better. Go on, smoke. Light your one up. Go to the store and buy your pack. I'll even make it easier for you. Here's some money. Now you got money to buy them. Go on. Go ahead. It's funny, but that's what he does. So I'm broke. I ain't got no money. Oh, you got money now. Here, girl, here's that $5 I owed you. Go on. Go on. Go smoke. Oh, you don't want to smoke? Well, cuss then. Go ahead, cuss. You know you're mad. Cuss. Go ahead and say that bad word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then that little word cross your mind. Go ahead and say it. They making you mad. Say it. <coughs> Throw something down. Go ahead. It's the truth. You ever got so mad you wanted to pick up something and throw it across? Go ahead, throw it. That's how the devil do. You know you want to smack him. Go hit him. Am I preaching you the truth tonight? Ain't that what he does? You know that baby getting on your nerve. Go over and smack her. Uh Uh-huh. Go ahead. Wear her out. (laughs) <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I mean, no, that's, that's what the devil do. Yeah, he will. He get you. He try you, sister guy. I'll go on and get high. If you just get high to make you feel better, go ahead and take all them pills. Not just one, but go ahead and take them all. It'll put you out of your misery, girl. You'll be right with me and you won't feel nothing no more. It's funny, but it's true. It's what he does. Don't just take one. Take the whole bottle. Who cares? No one cares. Who cares if you take them all? I won't care. Of course not. He wants your soul. He's not going to care. I'm talking to somebody tonight. Go ahead and take that drink. Oh, girl, look. Mm, act like this is Budweiser. I saw, I know a few of them. The ones on the commercials, Miller Lite. Go ahead and drink it. Go on, drink it. It'll make you feel so better. All them problems and them worries will go away. Go on. What are you waiting on? You ain't got no friends. No one loves you. No one cares about you. What's the problem? Go ahead. It's the truth. You call somebody. Hey, uh, oh, girl, I'm busy. I got to go. It's true, Sister Carla. You'll pick up the phone and you'll call somebody just for prayer and they won't answer the phone. Well, why won't they answer the phone? Because they don't care. They know it's you. That's the things that the devil will say to us. Does he not? Have you been there? We've all been there tonight. You all look at my fever blister, but we've all been there tonight. Some of you look. I know I wish it would go away. I feel like it's all over my face. I'm not preaching to you long, but it's the truth. That's what he does, Krista. And he'll have somebody call you, and he'll go a little farther than that. Won't he, Sister Gully? Yeah, he will. He'll go a little farther than that, Kathy. He'll come and say, he'll have one of your buddies come over, one that you ain't seen for about five years. It used to be a partier. He was like, hey, girl, Want to go out with us tonight? Come on, go out with us tonight. Won't you go out with us tonight? We're just going to have a few drinks. Want to have a few drinks with us tonight? Oh, well, we see how it is. You became a big Christian. Oh, you big Christian now. Ain't that what they do? Something like that. You saved now. You can't hang out with us no more. You can't do them cuss words no more because you saved. Where's your Jesus at now? When you're going through, where's your Jesus at? That's what they do to you. But you know what? It's the devil. And he'll use people to come against you. Yes, he will. Well, I ain't seen you change. You talk about you change. You ain't changed. Get the going on, Missy. That's what he does, Kathy. And God will deal with us and he'll help us and touch us to where we feel better. We feel so good at church. And, well, I got my shout on tonight. Praise going. Glory. I feel so good. I think I'm going to just go home and go to McDonald's. 
was so great and thank God for Jesus glory hallelujah and we just go on brother Mike y'all think it's funny but it's the truth and you know we all feel so good and we go, Lord we had a service tonight and it was just so good tonight and don't know what they preached about but it was still good and everything was just good and I'm going to go on home now and as soon as we walk out the door it's all over it's all over Here come the devil. Oh, you know how so-and-so looked at you tonight funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't like you very much. Well, maybe they don't. I don't think they like you at that church. Maybe they don't. Then all of a sudden you act like this. Well, I went to church. It was good, but. Here I am again, Brother Wendell, down in the dumps. Nobody loves me. Nobody. It's the truth. Does he not do us that way? As soon as you walk out the door, he'll be right on your back, right on your shoulder, start talking to you. Well, you missed that one key. You didn't sing that song, right? So-and-so was singing better than you tonight. And that woman, I'll tell you the truth, she preached for over an hour, drove me crazy, and I missed my show. It's the truth. Kids, did you see them kids? Them kids was going wild tonight. I think I'm going to have to find me in our church. I can't take all them kids. I just can't take it. You've been there before? They just disrupt and did everything, and I just got to go to another church because I can't take it. I just I can't take it. And the devil will keep talking to you. And he'll keep saying, well, go on and take that drink. Go on and hit that cigarette. Go on and take them pills. No one can see you now. It's just me and you. It's the truth. I'm getting ready to shut up. But how many knows that's what he does, Sister Carly? He'll start talking to you. You know you're depressed. Me? Yeah, you. No, I feel good tonight. I had joy tonight. The sister told me to jump for joy, and I just kept on jumping. Maybe I just need to jump my way on out the church <laughs> so I can keep my joy. If that's what it takes, jump on out of the church. Jump at work. They think you're crazy, but let them think you're crazy. Are we willing to do whatever it takes to get where we need in God? Are we willing tonight? Are we willing? Are you willing? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get where you need to be with God? No matter what people think about you. Who cares what the devil thinks? Do you care tonight? I don't care what he thinks. Let him talk on. Let him come against us. Let him say what they want to. Let him throw things at us. Because the Bible says to submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. But we don't resist him. We listen to him. Don't listen to him tonight. Jarius didn't, Kathy. I believe he stood right there and he was waiting. He was waiting. He heard the outcome, Brother Wendell. He heard the outcome. He heard that his daughter was dead, but we went on down and we read how God raised her back up again. How many know sometimes spiritually we can be dead? Spiritually we can't get dead. Sister Missy, and we can feel like our life, we're just in an empty shell walking around. We do, Sister Carla. I've been there. Sometimes just over things that hurts us. Sometimes over things that happen to us, and we just feel like, here I am, Lord. I'm just in this shell. I don't know if anyone knows that I need prayer, but God, I need prayer. You ever felt like all you could do is say, Jesus? You ever got down and tried to pray, and you couldn't even pray? You cry so hard, and there was no words. But how many knows he knows the words? He's listening to your heart tonight. Don't let the devil do these things to you. Don't listen to him. Don't give him an inch because he'll take your life. I used to say don't give him an inch because he'll take a mile. But Missy, he'll take your life. You let him in just a little bit and it's all over. It's all over. Before you know it, you'll be in a mess that you thought, God, how'd I get here? How'd I get here? Oh, God, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. 
You say, Lord, how did my life end up so bad? How did I get in such a mess? How did I get in this place? When people backslide and all at once, how many knows it's a slow process? He slowly starts trying to take things from you, and you don't even see it. I was reading about Saul, Sister Carla, how he had had them, how that God blinded him for three days, I believe it was. He said, Saul, Saul, why does thou persecute me? Why do we persecute him sometimes? Why do we put Jesus on the back burner of our life when he should be ahead of it? Why do we do that? Shouldn't he be first tonight? Shouldn't we say that God, no matter what anyone thinks about me, no matter what the situation that I'm in, God, no matter how it looks, I know you're going to take me through it. I know I can make it. You can make it tonight. He's an on time God. He'll be there, Carla. He'll be there right on time. Sometimes we just need to feel him. Sometimes we just need to touch him. How many knows he's got what we need tonight? He's got what we need tonight, Sister Kathy. He just wants us to believe and talk to him. Call on him. I drive down the road in my car, Sister Santa, and I'll talk to him like he's right there. Because he is. How many knows he is? And I said, Lord, it's just me. It's me again. And I'm going through all this, God, and I don't quite understand, but can you take care of it? Can you help me? I said, God, can you just heal me? Have you ever been so hurt, Sister Sandra? And, and you say, God, will you just heal me? How many knows we don't have to have something physically or, or whatever it is wrong with us, no big kind of sickness or disease or for God to heal us if it's just hurt? You say, Lord, would you just heal me? How many knows he'll heal that hurt? He will. He'll heal it up. I got hurts all over me. I burnt myself and cut myself on the tester. And hurt there. It didn't hurt. It's the truth. But you know, eventually them will go away. They'll heal. They'll heal, Sister Carla. But I can look back and say, yeah, I know how I got that with a, I burn it. That's why I was trying to make pizza. We can look back, Sister Gully. We say, I know what, what caused that, but God healed it. It don't hurt no more. It's gone now. A scar might be there, but it don't hurt no more. How many knows it's what he'll do? It's what he'll do. He went to Jairus' house. He raised her up from the dead, Sister Carl. They didn't have to feel that hurt anymore. I'm sure when he was told that his daughter was dead, that he probably was hurt. He was hurt. He had to have been. But Jesus said, I'll make it better. I'll make it all right. I'll be there right on time. I'm going to raise her right up. She's going to be all right. She's not sleeping anymore. Reach that back. I mean, knows that that's what he'll do. He's a God that will be right there. Right there, Kathy. He'll be right on time. She's all right. The Lord loves you tonight. Don't give up. When the devil tries to make you think of all the things that are wrong, think about Jarius. Think about that woman with the issue of blood. Think how that God brought them through. If God could do it for them, he'd do it for you. Amen. I was reading in the book of Matthew and Sister Carla and it was talking about how there was others that got a hold of his garment. I've never, never, it never stood out to me before. I thought, Lord, that's something. I mean, as many times as you read something and you go back and all of a sudden it's just like it jumps right out at you. And I thought, Lord, there was others. It wasn't just her, but there was others that got a hold of you. I mean, he knows that's what he wants us to do tonight.
get him. Get a hold of him no matter what. No matter what it takes, get a hold of him and don't let him go. Don't let him go. Don't let him go, Johnny. No matter what anyone says, don't you let him go. Just say, God, it's me and you. And I'm keeping you this time, Lord. It's me and you. No matter how it looks, no matter what people think about me, we are really bad for that. We are. People, are, we're, we're bad for that. I don't know why it is, Sister Gully. But we worry about what people think about us. And, and we worry about, Lord, did I do this right? Did I do that right? We worry about that stuff, Carla. But do we worry about, God, what do you think? Why, why don't we change that tonight? Let's change that. Let's say, Lord, did I say everything right? Did I please you tonight? Did I do what I was supposed to? Lord, I, I've been praying to you. I've been talking to you. If I never talked to my husband, he would think I loved him. If we never talked to the Lord, how would he know? How would he know we loved him? But how many knows that we need to stop worrying about what people think? I just say, Lord, it's me and you. It's me and you. And I want to do all I can to please you. This week, I challenge you this week, do all that you can to please God this week. Talk to him. If you're at work, and the Lord, I was at work, and they showed me this new thing that they had, and I said, thank you, Jesus. I was glad for it, Sister Carla, and they looked at me like I was plum going. I did. I threw my hand up. I said, thank you, Lord. I was glad for it. My job been rough, and it made things a little easier. And they were just like, the girl done lost her mind. And they're saying some things to the girls about being saved. I said, let them come and say to me. Send them my way. That's how I feel about it. We need to put the devil in his place. Hey, man, put him under your feet where he belongs. Let's get that, that in us that where no matter what, we're going to do what God wants us to do. No matter what, she pressed through that crowd to get a hold of him. He is the answer. No matter what, Jerry has got a hold of Jesus. So no matter what you and I need to do, get a hold of him. Praise him. Praise him in the good times. Praise him in the bad times. Do you feel like God touched you tonight? Did he save you tonight? Thank God. Thank God. Give the Lord a hand for that tonight, church. We had a revival, and Sister Heather came back to the Lord. Krista got saved. There was two that got, three that got saved. Brother Matthew got saved. Sister Carla, through that revival, we see three souls saved. And tonight, another one. That's what it's for, Sister Sandra, is to see people saved. And I'm going to tell you here at this church, we want you to obey God. Don't let nothing hinder you. If the Lord's dealing with you to go to that altar and pray, don't let no one stop you. That's what we want. We want people to just get in and obey God. Get what you need. But I hope I've said something to you tonight that's helped you. I'm closing. I ain't preached too long, but it's getting late. I don't know if you've ever... We always heard that, though, Sister Missy, about the woman with the issue of blood, but no one's never said a whole lot about Jarius. How many knows he needed a touch too? Yes, he did. He needed a touch too. So the Lord turned it around and touched them both in the same day. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Tonight, if you want prayer, if you need prayer, or won't you come? We'll pray for you. I wouldn't never want nobody to leave and if they need prayer. Sister Carla, if you would, in just a few minutes, if you, Brother Wendell, we're going to pray for him, but if you come up to and stand in for your mom, I want to see God touch her. I want to see her rise up. I want to see her walk again, Sister Gully. I really do. Because I know God can do it. I've seen the Lord with my mammal, her be on oxygen. And I've seen her shout that oxygen right off. And not have to have it. God can do these things if we just believe. 
I mean, no, he just wants us to believe. Kathy, come up here and stay there for Craig and for Clee. If you want prayer tonight, come up. Let us pray for you. I'm believing God's going to do some things tonight. Sister Golly, and some of you come up here and help us pray. If you want to move up closer tonight to the Lord, won't you find your place and pray if you don't want prayer? Let's just pray tonight. God will move and God will do these things. Amen. Be praying for Johnny and, and Jacqueline. They're going to be dedicating little Johnny Wednesday night. They're having him dedicated. And I believe in a couple months they're getting married. So I thank the Lord for that. And they both for wanting to come to church. And I thank God for that, Sister Carla. Come on, church, let's pray.